now would be the time to get live, to be honest with you. Got it, right. Sounds okay. Good. <laughs> uh, and today I want to welcome along everybody that's joining us live on Facebook Live. So very, very happy to have you. And if you're going to be watching it a little later on, over there on YouTube, you know what to do, right? No, <laughs> you do, seriously. Sub, thumb, bell, bingo. Uh, bell notifications when we have important people, much like Gregory Childs from the band Heart Lung. Uh, love that name, I really, really do. Always have. He's joining us this morning, coming out of Toronto. And, uh, well, thumb. Like us. Get epileptic with the thummy thing. Literally. Yeah. And uh, while you're there, subscribe. Become part of the family. Uh, and you know something? We call it the noise here at Galaxy because it is growing louder. Louder every day. It's getting exponential. It really is. Nice to have everybody joining us. Uh, and let me tell you how happy we are to be in association with Rise Up TV. Big record. Sony Music, The Orchard, here with Galaxy. 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 Another Nindy Artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and Sony Music, The Orchard. I want to welcome along E. Wolfgang Debrecht as well. Nice to have you on board, my friend. It really is. Let's kick the mule and the donkey. Kick it off. Here's Gregory Childs and Hartlung. Lonesome. Oh, dear. So, how are you feeling, bro? You okay? I'm great, yeah. I feel, feel great. It's good to be back on here with you guys and just chilling and, uh, you know, chat about the song and what we've been up to and hear what you guys have been up to. You guys are so busy. You're always doing your thing. Believe me, bro, we are so booked up. Um, literally, I think we're about midway through uh, <laughs> February, January, February, something like that. Where'd you go? I'm not sure here. Just one second. And my camera's just being a little weird. Sorry. Sorry about that. No worries. No worries. And... There we go. He's back. Uh, you get a flip over it. And he's got it. <laughs> George Proffitt's joining us. Nice to have you on board, George. Welcome back, my friend. We'll and Dean Miranda's tuned in. And Franco. <laughs> Franco. And Louise. How are you, Franco? Nice to have you on board. Louise Ladat is joining hey, us as Franco. well. Hi, <clears throat> And we've got, oh, well, that's a good shot. <laughs> I'm like, I'm right. having some issues here. I'm just trying to uh, just tell the camera. Just put it up and down. It'll be fine. Like, that'll do. Just see him. What, whatever works, bro. Having a few problems. Yeah, I apologize. Just give me one second here. Something just happened. <laughs> no worries. No worries. <clears throat> I can wing it. <laughs> We're just having some... Uh, Film difficulties on the other side of the world well, the in Toronto. Yeah, we're getting some great <laughs> photos of the apartment. <laughs> He's back. There we go. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Here we go. Ah, dear, 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 dear. <clears throat> All right. Sorry about that. No worries, bro. We'll get through it. Shimmer Johnson's joining us. Hello, Shimmer. Welcome back again. It's a pleasure to have you on board. And we've got about a minute and 50 seconds. <coughs> How are we going for countries? Countries. Countries. 182. Not bad. 182 countries achieved in this morning, Greg. Right on. Great to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Where would we be without them? We love those countries. Almost, <laughs> we're in uh, pretty much every English speaking country in the world now. Right, no, where's 182 country they set up? Is that New Zealand or? No, no, no. I mean, there is 182 countries around the world oh, tuned oh, in. Okay, cool. <clears throat> <laughs> Not like uh, Agent 107 over here on the stick thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's my code word for that one. <laughs> She's Agent 107. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, hey, it works. <laughs> it does. 
You know, I'm getting so much into the music, literally, that I forgot to turn the mics on. Uh, typical me, to be honest. Uh, so, Scene Rivers is joining us. Nice to have you on board, Scene. And uh, JD on Cat also joining us. I wonder if that's Don. Uh, Don, pleasure to have you on board, my friend. It really, really is. Uh, and Thomas Greco is joining us as well. Also, Brian Wayne Perry. Nice to have you on board, Brian. And happy Thanksgiving to you too, my friend. I really, really mean that. Uh, Bo Gregory is joining us, and uh, Ryan Anderson as well. Now, uh, right now, we're joined live, coming out of Toronto, uh, by the man himself, Gregory Child, from the band, of course, Heartlung, and I love, love, love that name. Of course, uh, we have been friends in the past. We've released a few songs with Gregory, and uh, we've met his uh, then-future wife. Now he's run off and got married. Now, Gregory, my first question to you was, where were the hell was my invitation? <laughs> we were going to afford the plane ticket. We were you guys over for sure. Uh, believe yeah. me. Uh, and I'm going to be honest with you. I looked in email. I looked in snail mail. I looked in old man <laughs> mail. E even the carrier pigeon said, no, I'm sorry, no invitation. I was rather upset. But, you know, congratulations, my friend. Thanks, Brad. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. And uh, give love to your good lady wife as well, because believe me, absolutely talented lady in her own right. Now, she did some vocals on Lonesome, didn't she? Yeah, Tyra is uh, extremely talented. She's the you know the other side of the Lonesome story um, on that end, and she, she killed the vocals on that. And I was just telling Barbara, before you guys went live, she's also releasing, um, going to be the lead vocalist on one of her upcoming releases as well. It should be pretty cool to see Well, you know something, I'm looking forward to hearing this brand speaking new track. And, uh, of course, uh, we must do an interview with her the next time around as well. Uh, because mm -hmm. maybe a uh, very, very talented lady. Honest. Having said that, my friend, let's talk a little bit about Lonesome. Where did the lyrics come from? So that song is, it's it's about, I think a lot of people have experienced this. It's It's being in something that you want to work out but the pieces just won't fit they just jam and break up and peel back and uh it just doesn't work so that's kind of where that song's coming from it's just that kind of place absolutely uh, love 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 that i really do uh St. rivers of course uh, from south river slim nice to have you back my friend it really is mike gill is watching nice to have you on board holly ann is watching it's sydney irving Hello, sweetheart. Nice to have you on board. And uh, next time you run into Jimmy Buffett, give him a poke in the eye for me for Christmas time, won't you, darling? Do that. <laughs> now, uh, and of course she says good afternoon from New York. Well, it's a pleasure to have you on board. It really, really is. Greg, really, really want to talk about this because, believe me, it's an absolutely fascinating track. Tell me all about From the Chest. Yeah, so from the chest, there's uh, there's a lot going on there. The, the main kind of theme in that song, it's 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 basically about a man who's lost his wife, and he's appealing to God to be led into heaven, um, because you know he's lived a life of less than Christian ideals, and he's not sure if he's going to get into heaven to see his wife. So he's if the song is a plea to God saying, hey, you know, just because I didn't live this extremely you know, doctrinated Christian way, I'm still a good person, like, let, let me in, like, let me come home. 
Well, uh, doesn't God forgive? Is yes. it, isn't that in the Bible? Yeah. Doesn't God forgive? Believe me, uh, I've been there. I, I spent a number of months, would you believe, actually in a coma once upon a time, way back in my younger days. Uh, yeah, believe me, very, very many months in that. And uh, I, I got to the point, literally, where I, I could feel I was at the pearly gates, but, you know, St. Peter said, Grant, you're not good enough to get in here, you better go... You know, so I went down the other avenue and he said, no, nah, you're not bad enough to get in here. So I'm stuck here being a bloody DJ. Here's Gregory Childs in their brain spanking new song, From the Chest. <laughs> Yeah, true story. I did actually spend a number of months in a coma. No way. I mean, yeah, I had a motorcycle yeah, accident. And sharing what happened? Like, were you, were you in an accident? Or? Yeah, yeah, I had a motorcycle accident. I slid off the road, off the cliff, 180 feet, and fell onto an old riverbed that was just nothing but big-ass boulders with a um, tri bonneville landing on top of me, crushed me. And I oh. could... I can honestly say 18 months in hospital um, and I broke every single bone in my body at least twice. Wow. <laughs> I really oh did. And would you believe it was it's actually a, a guy that taught um, Tai Chi that taught me to walk again? Wow. That's, in, that's a really intense. So what would you like? What would, did you have any visions where you were in the coma? Like what was that? Do you remember anything from it? No, nothing. Uh, oh. Believe me, just black. That's all I remember. And then I remember some lady in a white dress smiling at me, saying, Welcome back. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> oh, look, when it happened, I'm not kidding you. Middle of winter, I hit black ice, skidded off the road, hit the one and only tree on this pass, and I was going up over this pass uh, in the middle of the night, slid off. I was actually on a Triumph Bonnie, and I slid off the road, hit this tree, bounced and went straight off into blackness, literally, and oh landed on this riverbed. <laughs> and I'm not kidding you, I looked up at one stage, the, the old Trumpy, would you believe, was still ticking over, right? <laughs> it just wouldn't die, this whole thing. And, and all I could see was this bright white light, and I'm thinking, holy hell, I'm dead. True, wow. right? And out of that bright white light came these objects in fluoro orange suits with white hats going you're going to be fine and that's all i remember for about yeah, six to eight months good. yeah wow holy <laughs> that's insane happens jeez i hope you're all right i'm glad you made it through <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's uh, i i came out with uh would you believe a plastic kneecap i've got a prosthetic kneecap but other than that i'm fine yeah, but into, uh, I tell you what, when I came, first came to, the sometimes. first thing the doctors said to me was, you're never going to walk again. And I went, but buggered with that. Then they sent me yeah. to physio, and I was never going to walk. Uh, you know, I was supposed to be in a wheelchair. Then I wasn't going to walk without a limp. So I needed a cane or something. And my oh, physiotherapist said, come and meet my father. And yeah. she took me home one night talked to her father and her father was a uh, he had his own dojo and um, used to train people and he says we'll get you walking in no time yeah so wow, that's all that what a story i'm Jeez. glad for that experience i've got to be honest but stupid yeah. thing for me to do in the first place <laughs> it really was
I can't. It doesn't want to do it. Say so we'll do it for you. <laughs> Right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, and I don't know how else to say it, but just love, love, love the work that comes out of Gregory Childs' mind, and of course his band Hardlung as well. Really, really love that stuff from the chest. Absolutely fantastic. Got to say hi to Gay Miranda, who's joining us from Norway this morning. Nice to have you on board, Gay. And Paul Harkins, of course, from the Hungry uh, from the uh, Heartland Roots Band coming out of Leicester in the UK. Nice to have you on board too. Tony Ramos is joining us and Jim Buffett. Uh, I told Sydney to give you a poke in the eye for Christmas, so uh, hold her to it, won't you, my friend? <laughs> Love that. Brian Wayne Perry, the, uh, uh, the output signal sounds uh, a tad hot today. Well, okay, uh, I'll let uh, production know about that. And uh, Jimmy Buffett says, hi, Barbara. <laughs> Hi Jim. Uh, my friend, I do have one question for you before we depart. Do you by any chance have a Christmas song? We actually do have a Christmas song. It's, uh, it might not be the same kind of Christmas songs that are on the radio right now, but maybe it'll come out next year. Okay, uh, because believe me, we would love to be able to, you see, uh, only 32 days here and, uh, away from Christmas, if you know what I mean, so we're gearing up for the Christmas show, uh, and I, I ask everybody, if you want to be in on it, please submit a Christmas song we would love to have to play your music through this. But let, I found out this morning, management and production have just told me, you know, four days of Christmas music. Okay. <laughs> are, we, are you serious? And they went, yeah, absolutely. Uh, two days leading up, of course it's holiday time, right? Two days leading up to no. Christmas, Christmas Day itself and Boxing Day, which would happen to be Christmas Day over in your side of the world, you know what I mean? So I see their logic. Yep. I, 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 volunteered yep. Not yep. To, I volunteered not to be here that period of time. <laughs> oh, look, don't get me wrong, I'm very, very Christmassy, but not that much. <laughs> i got to be fucking <laughs> Yeah, believe me. Uh, you know, one day a Father Christmas does me, <laughs> otherwise uh, me and Rainbow are going to have words. <laughs> uh, Rudolph, sorry, <laughs> we're going to have words. Um, Jimmy Buffett says that's why I'm here. Absolutely, <laughs> Jimmy, I get it, I do. My friend, one more question before we go. Anything new coming up in the near future? And believe me, I'm looking forward to the new submitment from your good lady wife as well. So uh, what are we looking at as far as next year goes? Yeah, we have, uh, we have in early 2023, we're going to have about two or three singles coming out. And then I'm hoping, um, hopefully not late 23, hopefully more mid 2023, we're going to be releasing like our first album. So that should be coming out too. And, and before you, you let me go, I just want to give a huge shout out to, uh, you know, everybody that supported us and uh, my, my wife, Tara Childs, vocalist, We've got Zachary Maloki on drums, Nick Cousins with the guitar and harmonica, Brett Kerbin on bass, and uh, from the chest, huge thanks to Carla Nicholson who helped uh, mix and record it. So just wanted to shout that in there. Thanks. I think I lost you some of the day we go. We're back again. Uh, now, Greg, I don't know that we're going to see each other before next year, so please... Uh, love to Tara and have a very happy and Merry Christmas. Stay safe over the festivities and uh, drink and fight nice, won't you? Thanks, we will drink and fight nice. Thanks, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> love that, I really do. Yeah. Uh, hang in there, Greg, we're going to move on right now. But uh, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us here at Galaxy. Always a pleasure to catch up with you, my friend. It really, really is. In the meantime. Let me tell you how happy we are to be in association with Rise Up TV. Big record, Sony Music, The Orchard, here with Galaxy. Another Henry Artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV. Big record, and Sony Music, The Orchard.